Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It has probably been about three weeks. This last time we were on, we went to the US and then we've been here for about a week and a half. Um, so we went to the US. We did. What did we do there? We spent a lot of time with our family and friends. We started uh, the first few days, we had our daughter's wedding shower. So that was really sweet. And we spent the first week at my parents' house and the second week at Frank's parents' house. And our big kids came to town both weekends. And it was really a neat time. Tell a little bit about the, the shower. Uh, the shower is good. Um, Emily had some friends come from California and from Abilene and her brother and some of his friends, which are her friends too, came and family. So it was real nice. It was just good to hang out with everybody and see everybody. Yeah. For a bit of time. A good friend of mine and our moms planned, have been planning this and put it together. And it was just really, um, they spent a lot of time and gave a lot of love. It was sweet. And then in there, the girls, we're able to spend time with, with friends from church. Charlie had a sleepover with a couple girls that she was super excited about. Um, we spent time just hanging out, swimming, going to a water park with a couple other friends. So that is what the girls look forward to the most and they love that. We had some time with just our big kids one-to-one -one, throughout the two weeks and that was really good. It was nice to get to spend time with them. Michael just moved up to that area so I went and got to go see his apartment hang out with him for a little bit. We took the big kids to dinner for birthdays so that was fun. We got to spend some time with them. It was enjoyable. And then we got good quality time with each of our parents mm -hmm. and my grandmother and your sister. Yeah. So it was pretty good. The other major thing was um, my friend Erica and her family have been working on like prepping some school materials for us to bring back um, like some readers for the kids some just like reusable task cards so that they can practice some reading skills some visuals stuff like that that you just have to like print spend a lot of time printing and cutting and laminating and so several days were spent doing that and People were so generous. We also got to look through Amazon packages that people sent Melanie Tanner and Missy Eber and Marianne Aiken. So like so many people and Erica and Erica's aunt gave for us to come back here and really have a, just an abundance of supplies and materials that we didn't have last year. So super energizing and humbling, so grateful. Jennifer Douglas took me shopping and was like, whatever, whatever you see, whatever you want. She just started filling the basket too. And so we, we brought one suitcase. We brought extra empty suitcases. We ended up taking back like four or five extra bags. That's all just stuff for the school. So it's super, like I said, just humbling. I'm so thankful and grateful. Yeah, it's pretty neat just to see how much stuff and how much time people 
put in to help and even at church at Sunday school mm -hmm. everybody's so interested and they want to help so we just need to figure out a way to get a shipping so we'd have to bring back <laughs> five freaking huge suitcases <laughs> every time um what else about the u.s i mean the biggest thing for me was that i was ready to come back like it was super awesome and sweet and it filled my filled us up and we were encouraged and prayed for and spent time with people we love. But for the first time, I had a feeling like I was, I'm ready to go home and that this feels like home for the first time for me. So that was interesting. And we're really like blessed when we go back to the States, we don't have our own home, we sold everything, but our parents have a good space for us and the kids and your parents have a good space for us and the kids. So we're thankful that we can be settled when we're there, but it's still not our place. So, you know, after two weeks, um, I was thankful to like come home and, and be the four of us in our, in our place. And the transition back was prayerful and like you could just see God covered the kids like other times there's been like just emotions lots of crying off and on sulkiness stuff like that which is to be expected when you're transitioning and leaving people that you love and stuff and this time I don't know if you think the same or not I think I observed like just less of that and there was still like joy and laughing and not as much crying. <laughs> so it's been good. And then though, the other thing I think really helped and is a huge answer to prayer. I just have been praying for the girls for this year that they feel like this is home, but and I was thinking, well, what makes a home a home? And it's, it's just connections and routines and a purpose, maybe, I don't know. Um, that they have some really good friendships and that they have opportunities to serve and see that God has placed them here as well. To, like, it wasn't just for you and me, it was the family and so like right away last week, Charlie and I jumped into an opportunity to serve this mission team that came through our, uh, with our church as a host to serve the island in various mission projects. And so um, Charlie and I helped with their meal prep for about five days, five or six days. And she loved it. <laughs> and even the first day I was talking to the youth pastor of the group, I was like, this is, as I'm just watching it happen, it's like literally answering, the beginning of answering my prayers. Like, she is so loving the service and just helping and being around these teams that are, and hearing their stories. Okay, here we go. And just every, every time we were together with them, breakfast or dinner, there was just somebody that, there was a conversation that was sparked and we got to know a little bit more, but the one that really impacted her was Miss Leanna, who came, um, who is a stylist, and she brought like huge donations of hair cutting materials and hosted like classes for some local men and women so that they could learn how to cut hair so that they could maybe then start a business and support themselves. And she invited Charlie and Charlie was just like, 
super excited. She loves, she's always loved like hair and nails. So it was neat for Miss Leanna to pick that up and invest in Charlie. And um, so Charlie worked hard, like we had to get up. Most days we got up at 5.30 and would work till about eight, have a break and go back at 3.30 to seven. The last day we had to get up at four because they left early and she just did it. And she never even said anything about getting paid like her. She wanted to come and help. And so I wanted to bless her after and I gave her um, uh, some money for her hard work. And she was like, what is this? And she was like, so thankful. She was like, but I was just volunteering. And I said, yeah, you were, thank you. So anyway, it was a really neat, I don't know, I feel like God is just showing off in answering prayers lately. And I think, There's been a shift in, he's told me like, just be patient, um, be quiet. So when I think I want something or I'm thinking about, oh, this needs to be like, he's like reminding me like, slow your roll. Like <laughs> who created the stars and hung them in the sky and who molded you? Who are you to say what's gonna be what? Sorry, I rambled. It was good to see you and Charlie get the help and how much you guys enjoyed it. Frankie and I got to spend time together. Back in the day when I started real estate and before Frankie was in school, that was, she was my little helper. And we spent all day together, and so it just reminded me of that and mm. the time we had together. It was a good week back here in Rotan. Yeah. Very energizing. Yeah. I guess. <sighs> Which we need going into this next two weeks. Because I feel like there's a lot of work to do. Yeah, we start school you know, like a week and a half, two weeks. We start on the 2nd of September. But we got to go back. But we have to go back on the 26th. And all the ideas are, you know, that I've been rolling around in my head about like first week of school and lessons and stuff like that. I need to start actually like working on them. Anything else happen <laughs> while we've been here? Since we've been here. Good morning. Good morning. Um, no. I don't know. Last night we got to go to an open house. <laughs> well, I don't know. What, what is it called? Um. Not an open house. They, maybe they're calling it like a block party, but it really is like an open house for a new store that was opening in like this little strip small mall. strip shopping center. It reminded me of our third Thursdays in Mansfield where you would just kind of hop from shop to shop. And only there were like five shops in this, but it was super hop in. They had a DJ. The restaurant that's Morning. in the strip is a sushi place and they were serving sushi samples and people were just hanging out. And it was good. 
Charlie wanted to get some birthday shopping done for her friend. And we accomplished that. It's fun to get out of the house. I loved um, meeting Maria. She was a girl that worked with us to do the meal prep for the mission team. She was the cook, basically. We were the sous, sous chef helpers. And on the way back, you got to see students that you'll be having next year. Yeah, last night when we were walking home from the open house, that was super fun to run into kids from school. Okay, so uh, what are we looking forward to this upcoming month? What are you looking forward to this upcoming month? A good start to school, taking care of whatever business we have to get prepared for school, just starting off strong then I don't know it, it'll be like we'll hit the ground running we've already had a year so we know it's not shocking on anymore it's we know what to expect and how to expect it and I guess what to do and what needs to be done so I feel we're better I guess mentally prepared And we can focus more. Oh, there's some big fish down there. Oh, yeah. Probably can't see them. But, uh, yeah. Doing a good job, a better job at school this year. Just knowing what and how to expect and what we can and can't do and that kind of stuff. Looking forward to that. Oh. Are you? Same. I. I'm looking forward to establishing a just a good classroom culture and just really getting to know the kids. There's this group of boys in that grade that historically have fought between themselves and just haven't been. They can be challenging and they're good kids. Like saw one of them last night. He was excited. So like just praying about that like I need help. I need help from the Lord to have wisdom, to have a sincere heart, to, to be innovative. I just have a vision of what it can be and, and don't want to slack off and don't want to get tired. want to maintain stamina throughout the year. And yeah, yeah, it's exciting to see like you're out of survival mode, so then you can be in it's like Minecraft <laughs> creative mode. <laughs> And I uh, don't want to, you know, like there's going to be different challenges that I can't, I don't even know. And just praying for grace.
All right, anything else? <laughs> we need to talk about. I don't think so. Anything else you want to talk about? I don't think so. Just thank you everybody for the donations and all the help in the US, helping out the school, all that stuff will really help all the teachers, right? Yeah, definitely. The things that have been given are supplied are not just like for me, they're for the school. Right now, mostly the elementary grades. Um, we have updated our Amazon wish list. Is that link anywhere? No. I we could put that link, maybe. Yeah. I don't know if it's easy or hard. That's fine. But we have updated our Amazon wish list, like to include some things that could help the high school as well. Um, so any of the things on there are things that we just can't really easily get here and are to help learning be a little bit more concrete um, for these second language learners. So we just really appreciate your support and your donations and and your prayers. Like if you're gonna pray for us, just pray that we have open eyes and ears and hearts to continue to do, you know, like God has set out this path and we wanna walk in it and we don't wanna miss um, the opportunities that he puts in front of us to be his hands and feet and to show his love. So that's it above all in our home and in our school and in our community. So we love you guys very much. And we know you guys love us. We've seen it and are just super grateful and humbled. Ditto. <laughs> Thank you. See you soon. Love you. See you soon.